Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we want to have a brief look at the Cinnamon 6.4 desktop which has been released and of course since I'm using Arch on my uh, media PC, well technically Endeavor OS, and Arch has rolled out Cinnamon 6.4, we are going to go ahead and have a look at this today. And so I reset the basic wrapper theme to it. I can't reset the window decorations and for that reason I can't go into the light and the dark theme uh, but we can get a general overall view of what this looks like so let's go ahead and talk about the major changes two primary changes in this the first is we have a brand new default theme which looks a lot smoother on any distribution packaging cinnamon if they have not taken the time to specifically theme it. The second thing we have is the nightlight feature has been restored, not as in a standalone application, but now as a setting inside of your settings app. But let's go ahead and have a look at the, uh, the information here, and then we'll show you what these features look like. So in this, we have a default theme. It's darker and more contrasted, and uh, it basically looks a lot more modern. And that's the, the thing about it is they were just trying to bring it into a modern view. I personally am not a huge fan of the modern, but the aesthetic of this is really nice. And so for that reason, this is a very positive, uh, positive direction. So as they're showing you here, various dialogue boxes and things, here's your calendar app in real time. So you can see what it looks like. These guys here are uh, various appointments I had. I'm not sure what that 18th one is, but oh well, there's an appointment there somewhere. And so uh, we had that showing up for your uh, volume dialogues. This is what those look like down there in the bottom. It's a workspace place switch. I don't think I have. Oh, there I do. I do have workspaces set up. There you go. I can see workspaces over there as well. And as far as uh, dialog boxes, best I can show you is if we hit the logout screen. This is what this looks like now. Much cleaner, much more beautiful. We see switch user, cancel, logout. So those are all really good options. We'll go ahead and cancel. I don't want to close out of the video or anything like that. So overall, the theming is a lot nicer. Uh, they do have a new uh, a new option when a application stops responding. You'll get a new forced quit dialog box. That's what they have right here. You see forced quit and wait. You've probably seen that in the past. So that looks pretty good as well. So it adds power profile options to the power module. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have anything in this one or not. Let's have a look at the power management. I forgot to look at that one earlier. Um, so here's your batteries if you're on... Uh, so you'll see here that this is not a laptop. So uh, it does give us, though, some battery indications. So the batteries are good for everything there. If there were, of course, a computer battery, that would also be in there as well. And then here's your various power options. And if the power button is pressed, all those standard things. Presumably, there might be a few more options in there if you were running on a laptop. So we also have uh, access to the network manager application during session uh, fallback. And there's uh, notifications uh, notification um, in full screens. So let's have a brief look at our notification rewrite. So here's a test notification. And down here we have this new option that you can show a notification over a full screen window. That is what that is about. So if you do use a lot of full screen applications and you want to see those notifications, you can toggle that on. The default is to turn it off. So we also have some changes for... Um, down here, more battery devices, labels and icons. We have improved uh, JPEG XL images, high DPI support for sound device icons, and a few other options in there as well. Now, the other feature that it has inside of here is the nightlight feature. So if you go over here to nightlight, this is the application. Of course, it is also inside of your settings panel right here under nightlight. And inside of your settings panel, this is what it looks like. And you can toggle it from a light to a dark. I'm just going to turn that on so you can see what that looks like. Because according to my clock, I'm uh, much, much later there. All right. So, of course, you can go all the way really dark or you can go a little bit lighter. 
So you do have those options. And of course, you can do it automatically based on your time zone, or you can do it on a specify start and stop schedule. So those are some nice options that you have inside of uh, inside of your your system here. So that is the uh, the upcoming changes here. Now this is going to be rolled out to Linux Mint in 22.1, which we'll be expecting to see at the end of this month. So we don't have a blog post out for Linux Mint yet. Um, presumably because they're working on getting that beta ready. And as soon as that beta drops out, we can have a brief look at that. And then as soon as that's out, usually it's just a couple weeks turnaround to fix the major bugs that they find. And then we'll have Linux Mint 22.1, which this will be officially rolled out. Now, in standard protocol, once that is officially rolled out, they give it a couple of weeks. You're going to have an upgrade path from 22.0 up to 22.1, and then probably about a month or less, we're going to see Cinnamon 6.4 backported into LMDE. So if you're running the Linux Mint Debian edition, you'll be able to get this probably about a month or so from now. It should be available in your repository. So there is our very brief look at Linux, or excuse me, at Cinnamon 6.4 desktop environment.